Step back in time to the enchanting era of the 1950s, where dreams of rocket ships, outer space, and atomic energy fueled the imaginations of youngsters across America. Amidst the fervor of the atomic age, a remarkable and audacious creation emerged, capturing the hearts and minds of children with its promise of scientific marvels. Enter the Gilbert U-238 Atomic Energy Lab Kit, a truly extraordinary and daring educational toy that brought the wonders of nuclear science right into the hands of intrepid young explorers. Conceived by the ingenious mind of Alfred Carlton Gilbert, a visionary toy inventor and relentless advocate for science education, the Atomic Energy Lab Kit was a daring experiment in itself. Released in 1950, it stood as a bold testament to an era when atomic power was both revered and enigmatic, embodying the spirit of scientific exploration that defined the time. The Gilbert U-238 Atomic Energy Lab was an actual radioactive toy and learning set. The 49 or 50 set came with four samples of uranium-bearing ores, automite, torbernite, uraninite, and carnotite, as well as a Geiger-Muller radiation counter and various other tools. The set also came with a comic book featuring Dagwood from the popular Blondie comic strip. It was titled, Learn How Dagwood Splits the Atom, and written in conjunction with General Leslie Groves, director of the Manhattan Project. The kit was created by Alfred Carlton Gilbert, who was an American athlete, magician, toy maker, businessman, and inventor of the well-known Erector set. Gilbert believed that toys were the foundation in building a solid American character, and many of his toys had some type of educational significance to them. The Atomic Energy Lab was just one of a dozen chemical reactions lab kits on the market at the time. Gilbert's toys often included instructions on how the child could use the set to put on his own magic show. For parents, he pushed the idea that the set's use of chemical reactions directed their children toward a potential career in science and engineering. The lab contained a cloud chamber allowing the viewer to watch alpha particles traveling at 12,000 miles per second, $19,000 MS, a spintheroscope showing the results of radioactive disintegration on a fluorescent screen, and an electroscope measuring the radioactivity of different substances in the set. Gilbert's original promotions claimed that none of the materials could prove dangerous. The instructions encouraged laboratory cleanliness by cautioning users not to break the seals on three of the ore sample jars. For they tend to flake and crumble, and you would run the risk of having radioactive ore spread out in your laboratory. This will raise the level of the background count, thus impairing the results of experiments by distorting the performance of the Geiger counter. The Gilbert catalog copy included the reassurance that all radioactive materials included with the Atomic Energy Lab have been certified as completely safe by Oak Ridge Laboratories, part of the Atomic Energy Commission.